vibey. Okay guys, we're stood right outside the Sir Alexander Fleming building. Yes, that's right, we have a building named after the guy that discovered penicillin. It's the main medicine building here on the South Kensington campus where we have the majority of our lectures, our labs, our tutorials, our group work. It all pretty much happens inside there, uh, for me at least, in the first year. So I want to take you through a little tour again, a YouTube exclusive here, yeah? So like and subscribe and uh, yeah, let's see what we can get up to. Peace. So, in we walk to the main entrance of the Sir Alexander Fleming building, aka SAF, for you cool kids. Now, onto the most important part, first and foremost, and that's the cafeteria. Plenty of tables and chairs, and the menu really has come leaps and bounds over the years. So, now we have the sofa area. Very, very comfortable, very aesthetic. I really do love this orange colour scheme. Great place to chill with your mates in between lectures or during, you know, lunch breaks, etc. Another great place to chill is, of course, the student union. As you can see, plenty of facilities and amenities, including a flat screen, a table tennis table, and these infamous black sofas where I chilled during my interview days. Yo, cut back to future Krish. Sofas, <sighs> comfortability test, it's a 10-10. These are actually a brand new addition, portable charging stations, which come in very, very handy. And now, of course, we have the G-Rooms. G-Rooms are commonly used for group work, so PBL, tutorials, and interviews. Yeah, we've got a whiteboard, an old school whiteboard with paper, computer as well, and you can also very easily hook up your laptops and do your own presentations. So these are one of my favorite parts of the um, building. Yeah, I had my interview in this room. Not, maybe not this exact G-Room, but in a G-Room. Uh, so yeah, Gs are born and bred in this room. Um, and yeah, just to show you what we've got, we've got a load of chairs. Tutorials happen here as well. Um, so in first year, we always used to sit around the class. Flashback. Oh my god. Guys, I really don't want to do this again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. Just get session to it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the actual locker room. I didn't realize we had a locker room until now. So that's quite great. So obviously if you come from far away on campus, you need to store some things. You can just help yourself to one of these lockers, obviously bring a padlock to keep it nice and secure, but the door is obviously key card activated. So you get your ID card. Won't show you the picture because it's, it's not the best. I'm joking, I'm joking, it's always sexy. Um, but basically, the only thing that you need when you come to locker room is obviously a padlock, the things you want to lock up, and also might get some locker room chat going, yeah? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, bring the locker room chat. So on the ground floor, we also have a very large IT suite. It does look a little bit archaic, however, nevertheless, very, very useful, and some COVID-19 measures in place. Now let's zoom into the printer, my personal favorite. All right. So now I know most of the young generation, they're probably part of a paperless society with their iPad Pros and whatnot. And if you wanna learn about the paperless society, then obviously look at my iPad Pro videos. Highly recommend for med school. But anyway, for those of you who are a bit more old school, you like your pen and paper, you like your printed notes, this is the printing system. And basically what happens is your college account, you get linked and you get what we call credits. So basically what ends up happening is you put a bunch of credits on your college card and then let's say you want to go print something, what you do is you click Command P, prints it out. Uh, actually no, it doesn't print it out, what it does is it sends it off to like the, the printing cloud. Obviously you have to pick the right printer, whatever room you're in. And what you do, you get your college card and you scan, scan it right there. And then it signs you in and then you put pull print and wow, I've got a lot of credits left. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Okay. Come back again to a future Krish. So this was the room that had a class in it that I was unable to go inside. But you know how we always finesse it for you. So we're inside now. You know, what I had to do is I had to come in and kick the class out, say, yo, it's tomorrow medic. And he's filming in here. So uh, yeah, we sorted that out for you. But now let's give you a little tour. So as you can see, again, nice, very open plan layout. Really, really good for, you know, COVID safety. A great thing about this is the fact that you have flat screen TVs all around the room so that a view of the whiteboard, so to speak, is never lost and you can always understand and follow what's going on. 
it's dark right now, right? But if you subscribe, oh, there you go. It's because you had to subscribe. Like, if you click the subscribe button, like, bang. If you go, oh, there we go, you hit the subscribe button. See what I mean? If you hit the subscribe button, you let there be light. Yo, they got some big daddy, big daddy flat screens here. No joke. No joke. And yes, this is the moment you've all been waiting for, the Big Daddy SAF Lecture Theatre. And of course, I give you a view right from the back, as I am a permanent member of the Back Row Boys. Very, very nice acoustics and view from up here. Don't have to strain the neck, uh, unlike the uh, the students at the front there. What I'm doing here is giving you a POV shot of when you're running into lectures late, and you just have to get your head down, focus on the floor, make sure that you don't trip up, as you can't bear to see the shame on the faces of both the lecturer and your fellow students. And yeah, you grab a quick seat here, right at the front, hoping you do not draw too much attention to yourself. Now this is a view of what the lecturer sees. So computer, some microphones, etc. And he sees the big packed out crowd in front of him. It's a true great sight. So yeah, this is usually packed out. Um, so yeah, just giving you a little, little view of that. Oh, yeah. Alright, there is some light, uh, so that saves me from rolling a little ankle. Okay, right, <laughs> there's now, oh shit, oh, wait, there's now no light, bruv. Oh, wait, there's no light here. I don't even know why I'm vlogging, like, I could easily, like, trip an ankle, break a leg. <laughs> Alright, let's go. On to the next lecture theatre now. Again, hopefully it's empty, which it is, two for two, again. Okay, this is a much smaller lecture theatre, and I'll uh, just give you a little view of that. We very, very rarely use this lecture theatre. I think the only times that I've actually sat in this lecture theatre is if we've had like a society uh, meeting, or in fact, if um, you know there's a, like a small tutorial run by these academic societies. It's the only really real time that I've sat in here. Uh, so the majority of stuff um, happens next door. So next up, the MDLs, aka the labs. So walking into the lab now, you have this corridor where most people leave their bags, as you shouldn't be bringing too much into the lab, and most people don their lab coats here. Layout-wise, the lab's very, very simple. You have these really large, spacious desks with lab stools dotted around them. Comfort-wise, unfortunately, not a 1010, especially on the lower back. However, it is what it is. What I really do like about the lab is the fact that you have these flat screens again, dotted around the place so you can really know what's going on, follow the protocol, um, look at PowerPoint slides, look at microscopy slides. Lecturer sits up at the front here and you can always hear him right at the back due to the good audio system. Future Chris right now. So I managed to get hold of the MDLs. <sighs> that was scary for sure. Um, now on my previous tour, obviously the seminar rooms, everything was locked. <laughs> locked yeah. so we're back here fast forward probably about five six months now as you can see a man's leveled up physique wise in that um but yeah let's check out seminar room let's go so there as you can see right now it's kind of one big room um but basically what you can end up doing is um pretty much adding a partition wall um, in the in the classroom so you can and you've basically got three different workstations and then I think right now they've actually split the room in two so it's actually even bigger than this so obviously this can be used for you know large group teaching um, you know maybe tutorials by academic societies can be booked out but then also what's a good thing is um, you can actually you know use this of course for um, uh, what do you call it like rehearsals and stuff like that one two Three, four, one, two, three. Make sure you like, subscribe. Good things come to those who wait. I got some crisp winter B roll for you. Walking down this exhibition road, that's where you get motivation, that's vibes. And yo, how do you show you the best bit yet? 
how do you choose your best beat yet? Yeah.